And then what we'll do is we will uh, start, all right, just make a little bit of note here. I appreciate some of you already are ahead of the game, you think. All right, make sure it's correct. All right, no reason to ru rush ahead right now. Make sure you're correct. Remember, there's an equal sign. I want to try to keep variables on one side, and I want to try to put the numbers on the other. We're isolating. Variables on one side, numbers on the other. All right, now I try to teach you guys, I would like the variable to be positive. All right, so sometimes you might have to put the variables on the right side and the numbers on the left side. Is that okay? As long as they're spread out. All right, if they're on the same side, you combine them and then you move them, you separate them. All right? Isolated, they have to be by themselves. Well, I like it to be positive, but no, you're right, it doesn't. Okay, so what does that mean? Everybody's gonna look at number one, all right? Just a quick re reminder, all right? And I, I, and again, some of you guys, I can tell, I don't mind if you move ahead, but they better be right, all right? You better be right. So V stands for what? Variable, number, variable, number. All right, equal sign, variables on one side, numbers on the other side. So that means I need to move the three X and I'm gonna push it over to the left side. To push it to the left side, it's positive three X on one side. So on the other side, it's going to be what? Negative three X. So I want everybody to put down a minus three X and a minus three X. This is the work that has to be done. Now I have the negative eight. That's a number. I want that on the other side. So to get rid of a minus eight, I have to do what? Add eight. I'm adding eight to both sides. Now, just to make sure you're seeing me, this negative eight and this positive eight do what to each other? This three X and this negative three what X do what to each other? Cancel. All right, so I am left with what seven X minus three X? Four X equals, what's eight plus eight? 16. And now, of course, we just divide both sides by four. And so X equals what? X equals four. All right, anybody have any issues with that? All right, again, just make it right. All right, now I wanna go over to number two. Put a little star by number two. Who remembers looking at that? What is the answer? Zero. zero. Does zero equal zero plus one? No. What do you think? One, does one equal one plus one? Two. Does two equal two plus one? Negative one equals negative one plus one. Is that true? No. Yes. Is it possible for a number to equal itself and itself plus one? Is that possible? No, it's kind of like a contradiction. There's no way. You can be yourself and yourself plus one. So the symbol for no solution, remember the symbol for no solution is a zero with a line through it. Zero with a line through it, okay? Anybody have any questions with that? That was the kind of the hard topic for kids. All right, my pen's starting to act up, so I'm gonna close out of that for just a quick second. All right, hopefully it'll work now, okay. So 
let's go back and let's take a look now at question number three. Right above number three, I want everybody to write, this is called a proportion. How do I solve proportions? How do I solve proportions? Somebody. Oh, close, not flip. What kind of multiply? No, that's what she was kind of trying to say. How about we say this? Who remembers what I'm doing here? Cross, not cross cancel, cross multiply. Yes. To solve a proportion, you cross multiply. You cross multiply. Come on, that's not a hard thing. You've been doing that, honestly, since fifth grade. Cross multiply. All right, it's just with variables now. All right? So now when I cross multiply, come on now. I want everybody to write down three open parentheses. 3x minus 4 equals 2 parentheses x minus 3. Is everybody okay with that? Emily, you good? Anybody have any issues? Now we have to do what? Distribute. All right, so now when we distribute 9x minus 12 equals 2x minus 6. Anybody have an issue with that? Anybody have an issue with that? Now, where does the 2x go? Where do I push the 2x? To the left. So the 2x right now, is it positive or negative? So when I move it, it becomes a negative. Come on, everybody can do that. So I need everybody to put down a minus 2x. Minus 2x. Now I have to move the what? I have to move the 12. What kind of 12 is it? Negative 12. So if I move it to the other side, it's going to be a positive 12. So I put a plus 12, plus 12. Now, 9x minus 2x is what? 7x equals 6. Beautiful. Now, divide by 7. 6 over 7 is my answer. 6 over 7. 6 over 7. Anybody have any issues so far? All right, let me do a couple more. Let me do a couple more with you. Number four, I got a shortcut on this. Who remembers the shortcut from yesterday? Who Say it, good for you. Divide by what? Now, normally most kids distribute, but because we're getting smarter, we're going to divide by four. So 2x minus five. When we divide by four, these guys cancel. So now go ahead, Mr. Ward. 2x minus five equals? Yeah, what is negative 28 divided by four? That's what we're looking at. Yes. Is everybody good with this? All right, tell me real quick. That is 100% correct. You divide by four because four can go into 28. Now, what's the next step? Mr. Ward? Uh, you would leave five. Right. So 2x equals what kind? Six. Yes. And so finally, x equals what? Negative one. Okay. Good job, bud. All right. That's good for you today. Good for you. All right. Now, we're just going to knock out the evens. We're going to go knock out the evens. All right. I'll let uh, Graham help me out with six. All right. Now, again, please write what you think the answer is now for number uh, six. Pay attention. 
Please pay attention. As soon as you don't know, you tell me. All right. So here we go. I just had a question on before. Um, like I ended up with eight eggs or nine eggs. Um, and then I had eight. How did you get eight, negative? Eight, but I still got negative. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you distributed. I'm good with that. Oh, he did one. Yeah. Okay. All right. So let's go back to number four. Distribute four. And what's that going to be? Two X. Yes, you're right. Good. Equals. Right. Now remember, divide by three first. Right. So read. Two times two yes, there you go, man. 4x. Yeah. And then? Yes, that's how easy. Very easy. Okay. Good. I'm happy with that. Wow. You're doing great, man. Couldn't have said it better myself, actually. So you said negative 2x equals zero. So now what? Zero divided by anything. Zero. Very good work. X equals zero. X equals zero. I'm happy with that. All right. Now, please. All right. We did fractions here. Anybody's going, man, I, I wish you'd explain two thirds times six. Anybody? All right. Let's continue. Number eight. All right. Maggie, you get to do this one. Yes. Good job. Well, 12x minus what? Do that first. Four times seven. Good. I know what you meant. Now, what do I do? And that's what? 18. What kind? 18. Yes. All right, so now everybody's got to look at this one. Does anybody remember what this is called? You remember? Anybody remember? What does that mean? All real numbers, all right? This technically is called an identity. Why is it called an identity? Because when does 12X minus 18 equal 12X minus 18? When is that true? Always. Come on, guys. I, I, I don't want you trying to you know, worry about this problem. I just want you to look at that and say, obviously 12X minus 18 always equals what? 12X minus 18. It's an identity. So when something is an identity, that just means it's all real numbers. Yeah. All right? Zero is an answer. But one is an answer. Two is an answer. Any number you tell me is going to be what? Is going to be an answer. All right? So all real numbers. You put one line, two lines, then make an R. That's how you make all real numbers. All right, that's what I want you to be able to tell me. All right, Maggie, that was good. Thank you. And I got uh, 12X minus 28 12X You forgot the plus 10. No, I used the plus 10 on the other side. Oh, oh you just subtracted it. Yeah, yeah, no. It still came out to be an identity, right? Yeah, you're right, Tosh. Very good question. Very good. Ooh, what number's in front of this parentheses? A one. All right, Miss Clifton, you're up. Distribute that negative one. Very nice. So, oh yeah, you got this you are doing great. Okay, 
No, no, no. This is a number. This is a variable. Well, yes, let's go back now. Since you made that mistake, let's just go. So we want them separated. Do you agree? So I need to move this 5x over with the 3x. Do you agree with this? So minus how many? Good. And now what do I do? But two negatives make a what? Positive. Still good? All right, you're not saying much again. So x equals three over two. Everybody's happy with that? All right, let's check out number 12. All right, James. Distribute the two. Tell me. 10x minus 18 minus 7. Beautiful. So then we group, I did, I added 7 to. Can we combine terms though? Oh, yeah. So that would be negative 25. Yes. So. You would still get the right answer if you didn't do that, but it's yeah. better to do this. Add then you add the 25. And, be, and then what else do I do? And then subtract Good job. Very nice. Very nice. 4x equals 13x equals 13 over 4. Perfect. Thank you. That is 100% correct. Anybody have any issues with that? All right, let's take a look at 14. All right, I've got some fractions in here. All right, so this can be annoying. All right. Who wants help with fractions? Who wants to volunteer for this one? All right, go. No, Jacob is. You already did. You already did the one. Okay. So we're gonna do negative three fourths x. Um. And then what? So that's gonna be. I know, but what? How do I get the five over there? Um, By adding five to both sides. Thank you very much. Okay. So now, of course, these two things cancel out. So what's my common denominator here? Twenty. So two fifths is. 8 over 20, negative 15 over 20, yes, so now negative 7 over 20x is equal to what? 13, beautiful. Now what do I need to do? Or we can say multiply by the? which is, yes, negative 20 over 7. All right, now that we have that, does anything cancel? No. So x is equal to, what's 13 times 2? With the what at the end? Over. Yes, negative 260 over 7, negative 260 over 7. Good job, man. Thank you. Okay. You going to give it a shot, Miss Emily? You can do it. Come on, kiddo. Tell me, what, I'm, what do I need to move? 
Yes. So how do I get rid of negative X? That's right. Positive X. Now, of course, you can put one X, right? So we're going to put a plus one X. All right. Now that I've got rid of the num the variables, now what do I need to do? Yeah, so how do I get rid of that? Yes, what kind though? Yes, all right, all right, all right. Very nice, very, very good. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. Right. Perfection. Emily, that was perfect. Go. Yeah, you can. You can. And you'll end up with negative 7x equals negative 14. So still, x is 2. Oh, no. I like. Come on now. I'm glad you're asking me. So speak up. Okay. Like. Yeah, yeah. Most definitely. Let me let me go ahead and do that for you, just to make sure, right? So if I try eighteen, while well, I'm double checking here, so you did minus twelve, minus twelve, minus six x, minus six x, right? That makes sense now, right? Yeah. And now you ended up with negative seven x equals negative fourteen. Yeah. Agreed. Mm -hmm. All right. All right, Emily, good for you. All right. Now, uh-oh, I have another fraction here. All right, Noah, tell me what to do. Okay, so this is 18, right? Yes. I added one. To six added five. one. Perfect. So yeah, 15, negative and then what do I do? Subtract x. Subtract x. Negative 5x. Um, now, here's where you got to be careful now. Come on. The 1 and the negative 1 cancel. The x and the negative x cancel. So what's negative 16 plus 1? Negative, um, that's negative 15. Yes, negative 15 equals. Now, I have negative 4 ninths minus 1. Am I going to add those or am I going to subtract? Yeah. Right. So one is one over one. So what's my common denominator? It would be nine. Right. So if I make that a nine, I have to make yeah. yes. So altogether, that's negative, negative what? Negative six. Four plus nine? Oh, four plus nine. Yeah. Eleven. Thirteen. Oh, I'm sorry. Negative 13 ninths x. True? Yeah. Now what? You have to reciprocal. Reciprocal. So we're going to do that. And over here, I'm just going to put the reciprocal. Does anything cancel? No. No. Multiply. Negative times the negative is? Positive. 15 times 9. Do you know what that is? Um, wow. Very good. 135 over, yes, sir, very nice. No, nothing reduces. The reason I know nothing reduces because 15 and 13 don't reduce. You hear me? That's very good work. All right, that's another example of a fraction. I'm, I'm just trying to double check things. All right, Miss Cole, 20. Now this one, this one's like, yes, the, like on two days ago. All I have to do here is do what to both sides? Now, listen to me. I like what you're thinking, but this is not multiplication, right? This is a positive three-fifths. You hear me? If it was this, three-fifths X, you would do the reciprocal. You good? So now all I do is how do I get rid of a positive three-fifths? Yes. Subtracting three-fifths. <clears throat> All right, so now I need a common denominator, kiddo.
How much? Yes. So what do I multiply the first fraction by? Okay, we'll do this one by two, right? So what does that become? Good. What do I multiply the first one by? Yes. So that becomes? Right. Come on now. Five tenths minus six tenths. What's that? Perfect. Negative one tenth. Anybody have an issue with that? That was an easy one. I threw in some easy ones, mixed things up a little bit, try to throw you off. All right. So you got to think about it. Maddie, did I let you do one yet? Yeah. You tell me. How do I do 22? Do you remember? Is it where you um, talk multiply? Oh, you definitely can do that. I like what you just said. All right. You could cross multiply here. So what's this times this? Mm -hmm. You're awesome. And then? What kind of 35? Yeah. Yes. Very nice. And now I can just do what? Yes, ma'am. That's really good. Everybody see that, right? Now, some of you said, well, could I just multiply by the reciprocal? Would you get the same answer? Same answer. You would get the same answer. All right. But I like what you said. You were listening. All right. Very good. All right. Anybody have any questions with negative 35 ninths? Anybody have any questions with negative 35 ninths? Tosh, did you do one? Yeah. I don't think you did one. Oh, this one's easy. What do I have to do here? Come on. One, three, so if I add three, that becomes? And then what? Yes. All right, that was an easy one. I just threw some easy ones in here, try to throw you off a little bit. Anybody have any questions? All right, Forrest, what am I doing here? So you add yes. So 3x is equal to when I add one. What is it? Now be careful. Are you adding or subtracting? Oh, okay. Yes. Yeah, positive or negative. Yep. Yeah. So X equals what? So we're dividing. Yeah, divide by three, right? So if I divide by three, what's that going to give me? Three goes into 12. How many times? Um, Right, so it's just point 0.4. Do you agree with this? Now, if you want, you can make that 12 over 30 and reduce by 6 and get 2 fifths. That's something else you can do on that. Do you agree? Mm -hmm. All right, come on, make sure you got that now. All right, let's knock out, uh-oh, 28. Everybody should be able to look at 28 and say, that doesn't make much sense to me. Is it possible for 2x to equal 2x minus 8? Does everybody understand what I'm telling you? Is it possible for 2x to equal 2x minus 8? The answer is no. If you didn't know that, you would just subtract 2x from both sides and say 0 equals negative 8. That doesn't make sense. That's why it's a 0 with a line through it. 0 with a line through it. No solution. Everybody needs to be able to look at that and say that's obviously not an answer. All right, let's knock out 30. All right. I want help with this shortcut here. Good job, divide by four. And what do I end up with? Yes. Then what? You're doing good, take your turn. Yes, so three X equals one. And now, 
Yeah. No, that's a common mistake. If I divide by three, let me show you why. Watch visually if I divide by three. Divide by three, divide by three. So that's the fraction one third. If it was three divided by one, it would be three. You with me? All right, I'm pretty happy with that. Let's continue on. All right, now we got to distribute. All right, we got to distribute. All right, this one's kind of annoying. So here we go. Let's make sure we're good. Three times one sixth is three over six, which can reduce to what? One half. One half. One half X. Now distribute the three. Tosh, what's that going to become? Uh, yes. Anybody have a problem with one half X equal or one half X minus 18? All right. Now the next. I need to distribute two ninths. Two, two X. And then distribute two ninths. What does that become? Eight. What kind of eight? Nine. Yes. Is everybody okay with that? 36 divided by nine is four. Four times two is eight. Anybody have any issues? All right, Tosh, now what do I want? Yeah, subtract one half. Yes, that's what I would do. Subtract one half X. And then what? Add eight. These guys cancel. These guys cancel. So now, what's negative 18 plus eight? Good. What's 2x minus 1 half x? Make two, two over one, right? So what's two over one minus one half? What do I need to do? Yeah, so two is how many halves? Yes. So four halves minus one half is what? That is correct. Very nice. Now what do I do? Yeah, do the reciprocal. So what is it? You're amazing. Negative 20 over 3. All right, that was nice. That was another good fraction problem. Okay, so here we go. All right, come on. Good for you. Go, tell me. Good job. Good job. That's correct. Very good. Bless you. Add 3x. Very good work, kiddo. Which we would reduce to what? That was really good. Thank you so much. Tell me, please. Uh-oh, did I make a mistake? Why did you say it was 18, man? Making me look bad. Hey, thank you, madam. You should get the extra credit for the day. But I don't do extra credit. So. All right, very nice. Very good. Thank you. 34. All right. Let's knock out 36. Distribute, James. Uh, 2x. What kind of? 2X. And then? Minus 6. Equals? Equals. 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 Equals.
Yes. That are before us. Sorry. I don't know what happened. Four X what? Yes, very good. Four X minus six can't equal four X. No solution. All right, I'm pretty happy with that. All right, let's knock out another one. Oh, now we've got a bunch of distributing here. All right. Good for you, buddy. Go. Yeah, just tell me when you distribute, what do you get? No, not yet. I want you to distribute on the other side. Now combine terms. Now, you do negative 2 uh, to the 7 to the negative 9, and then you do negative 21 plus 2 to the U. Wait a minute. Uh, to it, and then it would be 5x. Right. Plus Good. Now what? You do 4x minus so negative x equals what? You already said it. Negative what? So, if negative, yes, positive 12. All right, positive 12. Anybody have an issue with that? All right, I'm pretty happy with you. Good for you. Yes, that's what I would have done. Minus 4x, minus 4x, right? All right, guys, try to get everything done. All right, try to get the odds and those last two evens done if you can. All right, if you have struggling, you got to let me know. All right, you got to let me know, guys. All right. Thank you. That was a great job today. Very good, very good, very good.